Did you feel the shift of energy? The sun just entered Sag. It's so much fun. It's a bit of a change when you go from Scorpio deep and dark, where you're dealing with the psychology of the human condition, where you're really focused and you're not going to let your mind get distracted, to Sag where it's like, okay, now we're going to have fun. However, there's a little bit of a challenge in the sky and I'll tell you why. The sun is in Sag, the moon is in Virgo. Sag is mutable. Virgo is mutable. There's so many mutable signs right now. We have Jupiter in Gemini, Moon in Virgo, Mercury in Sag, Sun in Sag, Saturn in Pisces, Neptune in... You know what mutable means in astrology? That things just change super quickly. There are people that change their mind. They change their clothes. They move really a lot. They change their jobs. And it's the opposite of fixed, stable energy. Nothing's wrong with that, but it does create a high nervous system. And we just left behind a fixed sign. That was Scorpio. Now it's time to have some fun. What does that even mean, said Scorpio? What is fun? Oh, I know, said Moon and Virgo. We're going to clean. This weekend's a great opportunity to prepare for Turkey Day in America or just enjoy the entrance of winter arriving around the corner if you're not living in America, but it's cold. There is an increase of voltage of fun. And Mercury is right opposite Jupiter. And it's saying, let's have fun. Let's think about travel. Let's think about skiing. Let's go down a hill, some kind of adventure. That's what's in the air right now. So we're supporting you throughout life with these cosmic permission slips. And today is focus on the long view, something you want to do in the next season. The moon in Virgo makes the list. It makes you clean. It makes you organize. Sag gives you the big picture. And now your job is to make a plan, Stan.